The most common use of radioactive isotopes in medicine is to diagnose disease. Typically, radioactive materials are injected into the body and then radiation detecting cameras are used to build images of affected body parts or a particular type of cell. The equation shown models the amount of a radioactive isotope, Y of T, in the bloodstream T minus T minutes after it is injected. Okay, so we got an equation. Blue, everyone likes blue. Zero, Y equals Y, zero, E. Instead of um, 0.005, I'm going to do 1 over 200 T. Just to keep life simple. They're, the, they're equivalent. If you take 1 over, it's, it's, let us Wolfram that just to make sure. 1 over 200. Search. Go Wolfram. And we get approximate decimal point, 0 0.005. Yep, okay. And then there's a little negative in there. So the first question is, where was A? Where's A? That's okay. We'll do it. We'll start with B then. Okay. What is the rate of growth or decay? Okay. So since this is exponential, the rate of growth or decay, in this case will be decay, will uh, decrease as the population of your isotope uh, lowers. But what we're really looking for is the derivative. So to take the derivative here, why not is constant. Then we'll have e to the negative 1 over 200 times t times negative 1 over 200. And so this is the chain rule. So we take the derivative of the exterior. So the chain rule is f of g of x derivative equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. And in this case here, we have um, f of g of x is e, the e to the exponent, and then the g prime of x is the derivative of negative 1 over 200 t. And so that's why we have this negative 1 over 200 over here. So growth or decay right here. Bam. OK? What do you think the constant y not or y0 represents in this model? So y0 represents the initial amount, initial amount of isotope, of isotope. So if you plug in y up here of 0, you get y not e to negative 1 over 200 times 0, which is going to be 0, which will just be y not, the initial population. And d. The isotope is no longer useful in diagnostic testing. I'm going to say testing instead of tests. When 95% of the sample has decayed, determine how long a sample will be useful in a diagnostic lab. Okay? So we have our Y of T. I'm going to say Y of T F, F for final. And then I'm going to change colors because I grow weary of green. So it'll be why not eat negative T final over 200. And that will equal at time final. Um, let's see here. 95%. So I'll do y not over 20. So 1 is 95, uh, 0.95, 0 0.05, which is 95% decayed. So if we divide by 20, that gives us that 95% has already decayed. So we're going to work with the two right portions of this. So we have y not here, which we're going to cancel. Then we have this uh, exponential here. So we're going to have, first we're going to have an eraser to give us some more real estate. There we go. And so I'm going to rewrite this equation as e to negative t final over 200 equals 1 over 20. Take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of e to negative tf over 200 equals natural log of 1 over 20. So then we have t final equals 200 natural log of 1 over 20. I skipped a couple steps in the simplification, but you can see the idea there. And then we're going to Wolfram this. So we'll do negative, negative 200 times natural log of 1 divided by 20. And we get... Bum, bum, bum. 
Mon Wolfram, 599.146. So I'm going to call that 600. So about 600 minutes. So the final time, you have 95% uh, of the isotope decayed at about 600 minutes. So you don't have a lot of time. I think there's an E in there. Don't know if I put it in there or not, but there it is. All right. Hope that helped. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.